like this. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well... While you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the Land Gods. So, from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. There used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet. That sounds lovely. Yeah. They burned it to the ground at some point. Oh. But they helped bring part of it back in Sobek's time. That's good to hear. I wonder if it grew back after Zero Dawn. Wherever it is. I'd like to think so. Hey. Hey. A yeah, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh... Why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels. And it also has to do with the Osirum. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. I discovered an Osra militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus. It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. They're familiar with ancient tech, and they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Well, that's just great. Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Well, I could have the Vanguard check the chain scrape and Baron Light in case they're moving any supplies through there. But if they are, I'll bet they're being careful about it. Yeah. And they have focuses, too. Makes it easier for them to evade guards and patrols. Hold on. Uh, way back when we first met, you came looking for me in Meridian because you detected Olin's focus with yours, right? So does that mean that if I go back to the Daunt with this... You could scan for other focuses. Uh, if an Asaram is wearing one of these, they'd have to be a part of that Prometheus group. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I've been known to have those once in a while. <laughs> Just let me know if you find anything. You got it. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> You and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. 
Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. Let me know if you find any Sons of Prometheus in the Daunt. I'll keep scouting those rebel camps. Be careful. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the Karja. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them. As it does to my people. And the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is. That's all. That it does. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, We'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. How's, uh, training with Cell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory, and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside, without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Erend definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check the cache? Maybe you left it there when you dropped off all that ale. Oh. Hope it didn't get stained. 
Barrow looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zenith? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... Humbling and heartbreaking that such life should be bent on destroying ours. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. <laughs>